Well, month number three is off to a fantastic start. I've just realized that I had my microphone off for the first six or so days. So our trip to the military checkpoint has absolutely no commentary whatsoever. That is just delightful, what can I say? Uh, I'll leave a quick highlight of everything that happened between days 61 to 66 here. So across days 61 to 66, I managed to find a fuel tanker, which meant I had to take out a few local zombies in the meantime. Thanks to my expert driving, I managed to flip over our army truck and I could not unflip it. Not to worry though, I did actually find a Hummer and along with that I did find two M16s and plenty of ammo. I cleared out the majority of the military checkpoint. Took the fuel tanker that was originally attached to our truck and attached it to the Hummer, then went on another spree with the shotgun. I tidied up our loot and did some reading for the remainder of the day. We did manage to find two M16s, so I'm very keen in order to actually uh, get a new locker and secure those. I'm thinking that I'd quite like to build two little checkpoints either side of this gate, just so we can shoot any zombies that approach, because uh, I really don't want them destroying our fence again. Uh, this is the lovely Hummer that we've now got, and a uh, I think this is a fuel storage thing. I think it's made for alcohol, but hopefully we can store fuel in it, that I uh, risked our lives for. Uh, it's quite frustrating. I had several hours of footage, which I'm probably just going to uh, have condensed into a highlight reel. Right, let's grab absolutely everything out of here and stick it in the trolley. Right, as our Mustang's a little bit battered, I think we're going to use this as our car to explore uh, the rest of Louisville. Right, let's leave the Hummer here for now. I do really like this, to be fair. It's, uh, I guess it's not all bad that we lost our uh, lovely little army truck, although I do want another one now. Right, let's leave the M16 on the ground for now. Okay, we did also get another generator, so let me just pop this down here for now. Uh, I'm not too sure where I'm going to put this, but I'm sure it will come in handy. Right, let's put all of our drugs together. Lovely. Let's treat ourselves to this canned Vienna sausage. Right, okay. I think before bed, I might uh, just check up on our farm. Okay, it's kind of annoying how quick this uh, grass is growing back. Okay, our plants aren't ready to harvest. Uh, we can water them, but um, I can't be bothered. I think I'm gonna quickly saw up these logs so I can start working on these towers down here tomorrow. Well, we have got a whopping 75 planks out of that, but I think it is time that we go off to bed because it is getting late. Right, so we have 127 nails on us and, oh God, it is very dark still. Let me quickly turn the generator back on, see if that switches our lights back on. There we go, that's better. I will need to grab one of our axes just so we can cut down the few small trees that are lingering around. How do I remove this bush? Right, let me see if our lawnmower can uh, sort this out. Okay, the lawnmower doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh no, tell it, take it back. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to get started on building a little tower here. Oh no, I've just realised I've done these stairs wrong. Right, I'm gonna have to disassemble the stairs for God's sake. How do I disassemble the stairs? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, right. Well, okay, I've made quite a bad mistake there. Let's just uh, ignore it and pretend it was intentional. Oh God, I'm really nervous about falling off. Oh God. God, we are exhausted from this.
Okay, we're really making some good progress here. Okay, we have managed to build a little bit of infrastructure here towards this little watchtower. Uh, I'll probably try and focus on that tomorrow as well. We're only at midday though, we are exhausted and ridiculously tired, so uh, maybe we call it quits for now. Okay, we are running low on fuel, let's turn off our generator for now. God, with us being so exhausted, I think it's time we take a quick nap. Okay, well, it's already 11 o'clock, I'm just gonna go straight back to bed after taking a sleeping tablet. Okay, well, we're up at 20 to 3. Right, let's have an MR ready for breakfast. Right, we do have some gas here, let's uh, top up our generator. Right, we have got a few trees growing in our garden, so I think I'll chop these up for the rest of the wood that we need. Oh no, our water dispenser's out. Ah, that's not good. Right, let's take all of these logs and put it in our trolley. Right, let's saw all of these logs. I think I'm just going to build a fence on the top layer, just so we can uh, see over the edge. God, I hope we can actually shoot zombies over the edge of this. God, this is really coming along nicely. Okay, that's the top floor done. Okay, we're not quite good enough for the next level of wooden windows and doors. That's quite annoying. However, I should be able to upgrade them at a later date. Right, we'll put in a few windowed ones as well. We will now have to collect some windows from some actual houses though, which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, we don't have enough planks and nails now. Uh, we'll finish this at a later date. I'll probably end up just leaving this as like a little unfinished project. <laughs> Not gonna lie. God, we are exhausted. Let's uh, take ourselves off to bed. Time for another MRE. Right, let me take this empty bowl and I'll tell you what, these two plastic cups and you know what? We're gonna try and collect some rainwater and warm it up in the oven. Let's turn on the oven and see if this does anything. Okay, the canteen's no longer tainted and the bowl of water isn't either. Okay, we can add the water from the bowl of water and from the canteen. Um, okay, the tainted water in the oven can't work. We have to get a microwave. Okay, right, let's uh, just quickly finish this up. I've got some more nails from the garage. Right, okay, let's uh, go out and do something else today. Hey, come here, how you doing? Right, I think I want to take this that we looted on one of the silent days and take it to the petrol station and see if we can fill it with fuel. Okay, let's fill up the gas. Oh, oh, ooh, hello. Oh, that's the second time this run I've jumped out my skin. <laughs> ah, hey, let's just keep filling this up and maybe I won't try and skip forward in time this time. Fuck. Oh, oh my god, it is taking so long to fill this up. Well, I don't think we're gonna have to refill that for a while. Let's take our uh, a new gas tank back. Oh my god. Well, we've just played a bit of bowling with the local zombies and I've absolutely destroyed the windshield on this car. Oh my god, this thing is so hard to maneuver around. Oh god. Right, perfect. We've now got this stored in our lot. Right, let's have another MRE. We are finally losing weight, but I mean, the actual weight itself hasn't dropped. It just says that we're losing weight. I think I'm gonna take the busted up Mustang out for a little adventure. Uh, maybe keep an eye out for a new vehicle to replace it. Okay, I think I'm gonna take one of the M14s with me. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna push back into the center to do some exploring. Oh, hello there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, big truck. That could be quite nice. Right, let's uh, check out this lovely little truck. Ooh, some more cocaine. Take that. Okay, we've managed to get in it. We can hotwire. Hell yeah. Hell yes. It's not in great condition, but I think we'll keep it. Oh, hell yeah. This is a university campus. Okay, I'm pretty certain this university should have a library, so I do want to check that out. Yes, the library's here. Oh my god, yes. Right, okay. Right. 
Let's get looting. Okay, I'm gonna take fishing volume two. Uh, this vehicle schematics book as well. I'm gonna take the electrician volume two, antiques collector, tailoring volume one, uh, music volume two, a, another dance magazine. You know what? I'm gonna take uh, tailoring volume two, even though we've only just found tailoring volume one as well. We'll take all the magazines that we haven't read as well. Another dance mag. Oh my God, there are so many good books here. More vehicle schematic books, lovely. I'm kind of surprised by the lack of zombies in here. Oh, I think that's enough looting of the library. Let's uh, go load these up in the back of the van and push on. What did I say about not many zombies being here? I'm pretty sure a load have just found us. Uh, let's just get out of here. And let's get out of here. Ooh, that's a survivor home. We'll have to come back here at some point. We are getting a bit tired, so I think we need to move elsewhere. Right, let's push back into our base. Oh, fuck, hello. Right, now that we're home, I think we sit down and we do some reading for the next few days. I think we're going to start by reading uh, all of these dance magazines. Uh, you know, essentials. What can I say? God, I can't stand how slow of a reader we are. Well, we've been reading all night. It's four in the morning. We're exhausted and we are still going. I think we might uh, help ourselves to a little substance and just keep going. I think I'm going to quickly read our antique magazines as well. Uh, read these emotional intelligence books on boredom and unhappiness. Uh, read the medical magazine. And then we're going to read absolutely all of the vehicle schematics books. Right, that should hopefully take us to the end of the day oh my god it's 11 o'clock and we are still reading my god i think we'll start day 71 with a quick mre hey okay, taking a look at our skills we haven't made a start on metalwork or tailoring so i think i'm going to make a start on tailoring volume one and i think for the whole of today we're just going to read this oh and we've passed out on the floor before we could hit tailoring at level one uh, it'd be nice if we woke up sometime soon um we didn't wake up till 10 past three the next day right i think we're going to quickly do a little bit more of the tailoring reading uh, just so we can hit level one. Once we've done that, we're gonna put the book away and have something to eat because we are starving to death. Okay, that is tailoring level one. Well, we haven't checked up on our hand in a short while. Let's remove the splint. Okay, we're feeling much better. Uh, considering it's getting quite late, I think we just sit down and we enjoy watching some TV for the evening. Make sure we're fully rested for tomorrow. I'm just gonna start watching as many of these DVDs as possible. VHS, Jive Jake's Groovy Moves, Get Down and Boogie. Hell yes, I do like a boogie. Okay, this is actually helping us improve our dancing skill. Okay, that's cool. God, we have made a very big dent in our uh, pile of DVDs here. As usual, we'll have an MRE for breakfast. Okay, I think I've actually decided I want to turn this office into a little bit of a gym. So I think that should be my next big priority. I think whilst we wait for the sunlight to come up, I'm going to read a little bit more of Carpentry Volume 4. Okay, so we've got our M14 on us. I think we're going to take this into the city and we're gonna take out some of the zombies in the high streets and try and find some gym equipment. Oh, let's go check up on our garden, actually. This seems to be coming along nicely. Okay, we can actually harvest all of this. Let's do that first. Okay, not everything's ready to be harvested, but we'll grab the majority of it for now. Yeah, the carrots are ready, lovely. Oh my God, we have 40 carrots, 120 carrot seeds, 196 radish seeds, 49 radishes, and 19 cabbages. Oh my God. Right, let's put all of the seeds away for now. Right, uh, I normally like to leave the generator switched off when I go out, however, I think I'll I'm gonna have to start storing this food in the fridge or freezer. So we'll have to leave it on for now. Okay, I think I'm just gonna store everything in the freezer uh, just because I don't want it to, uh, to go off. In fact, I'll just put the carrots and the radishes in the freezer and we'll keep the cabbages in the fridge. You know what, let's eat one of our cabbages. Let's treat ourselves. Mmm, delicious. Uh, I do need to pick up some pots and pans and things so I can carry this water into the house and cook it. Right, grab both of these gas cans. I need to fill up this generator. Right, let's get some gas from here. Okay, I can't seem to get the fuel out of it. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, I can drain gasoline from it. Um, okay, it does work just by draining it. Okay, right. Right, let's top up the generator. Right. It's finally time for us to push on. Right, we do need to go and fill up our bottles at one of the local houses as we don't have any clean water left at our place. God, I've been having all sorts of issues recently with my save. I've been having like all these black spots appear and it takes a couple of uh, restart attempts <laughs> to get things to load in. So I do apologize about the state of it. Oh, hello there. Oh, fuck, hello. Oh shit, there's loads of zombies here. Um, you know what? Let's uh, just fill up our bottles and leave. Okay, I am off. 
Right, I think we're gonna head towards this area over here just because I'm pretty sure the gym is up over in this area. This truck keeps uh, switching itself off. Please start. Oh God, come on. I don't think it's gonna last very long, I can't lie. Oh, an animal shelter. I'd actually wish there was animals in this game so we could go get a pet or something. That would have been awesome. God, I'm really not familiar with this uh, part of Louisville. I really don't come here enough. Fun extreme, what's this place? You know what? I think we're just going to pop out, get our M14, and get to work. Oh, shit. Nearly. Okay, there is a lot of zombies here. Let's see if my laptop can actually handle this. Okay, well, I feel like I'm probably going to live to regret this. Oh, shit, I definitely will. Um, oh, no. Oh, please stop lagging. Oh, no. Oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe I should have brought the shotgun. Oh fuck, okay, right. Um, this was a terrible idea. This was a really terrible idea. Oh my god, stop lagging. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I should have brought the shotgun for this. Yeah, okay. Sack this. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, please don't break down now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's not waste our time around here. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Why did I try to go back the same way? Oh, my God. The lag is insane. Ooh, an art gallery. Oh, I've definitely got to come back here at some point. Ooh, that's a cool bunny outfit. I'd love that. Oh, fuck. No, 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 do not break down here. Okay, this truck has absolutely had it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to put away the M14 as that was not the most useful weapon that we've used uh, in our time of playing Zomboid. Right, let's eat some cabbages for dinner. Right, let's uh, just go back to reading, I think. Let's read a little bit more Carpentry Level 4. Oh my god, we're only 35 pages in, so we need to get a move on with this. Once again, being the absolute expert YouTuber that I am, I had microphone issues again for days 74 to 77. Here's a little bit of a brief summary of what happened. I decided to get completely naked and take off all of my clothes. This would help to keep our encumbrance down. I had a nice little wash off in the rain and decided to practice my running, followed by some reading. Followed by some running, followed by some reading, followed by some running, followed by some more reading, passing out from reading, and then found a new trailer for our Hummer. The trailer went a little bit rogue and started acting up. After getting a minor cut to my hand, I came across a very useless survivor home which had absolutely nothing in it whatsoever. I came across a lovely little sports car which I decided to repair by replacing its back tyre.
I decided it was time for a quick haircut, so I trimmed our hair and beard, giving us a little bit of a Freddie Mercury look. I swapped out our machete for a baseball bat. I decided to take our big truck out as it was already very busted up and I wanted to swap it for the sports car. The truck eventually broke down, which left us in the middle of nowhere, having to flee from a horde of zombies. Unfortunately, things took a major turn for the worse. I found myself getting far too comfortable in the game, and thanks to me both not paying attention and suffering with a little bit too much lag, I did inevitably get eaten by zombies on day 77. Words can't even begin to describe how disappointed I am with the way that this video ended. I worked so hard with both filming and editing this, and I really thought we were gonna get to day 100. I'm baffled that we haven't. Um, either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're watching it as the, the movie that we released or if you've watched it as the individual series, uh, you know, I do really appreciate all of you watching. I appreciate the kind words and I'm sorry to let you all down. You know, I'm, I'm gutted we didn't get to the 100 day mark. On the bright side of things though, I feel more comfortable doing these longer forms of challenges and I feel that, you know, with a few more attempts, we're definitely gonna get there. Now, if there are any other versions of this challenge you want me to do or any other Project Zomboid challenges, please do let me know down in the comments. If you're waiting for the next Project Zomboid challenge, like the Zero to Heroes, because I know some people only really enjoy watching them, Please do consider subscribing. You know, we'd love to have more of you here and this channel is growing to build up this just amazing little community that I'm really loving. Uh, so yeah, I'll thank you again for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day and goodbye.